Hello students, welcome to your English class. Today I am going to take chapter 10th of your class 10th English textbook first flight that is the sermon at Banaras which has been written by Betty Rensa. Now let's have the introduction of this chapter. In this chapter, the author throws light on the early age of Lord Buddha. As you all know that Lord Buddha was originally born as a prince in the royal family. However, on exposure to the sufferings of the world, okay, when he got the exposure to the sufferings of the world, like when he saw the dead man, when he saw a sick fellow, okay, what kind of change he got in himself? He left his princehood. Then he went in search of salvation. Okay? Thus, he left all the worldly pleasures behind. Moreover, when he attained spiritual awakening, he gave his first sermon in the city of Banaras. He made a lady, Kisagutmi, realize that men are mortal and also gives a beautiful message to all of us that a wise person never grieves at what is unavoidable. It only enhances pain and sufferings. So this has been the short introduction of this chapter. Now let us have a look of some keywords of this chapter. Here the first word that we have is sacred which means holy, divine or you can say godly. Then we have chanced upon which means came across by chance. The another word that we have is arms which means money or food given to the needy people or poor people. Then enlightenment we have which means a state of high spiritual knowledge. Then the next word that we have is sermon which means a talk on religious or moral subject. Then we have inscrutable which means something which cannot be understood. The next word that we have is lament which means to express regret. Okay. Pastave ko karna and that is called lament. Then we have afflicted which means affected adversely. Bahut buri se pravavit hona that is called afflicted. And the last word that we have is priest which means delivered a religious address to an assembled group of people. Okay. So these are some sort of words. Do remember these. Now let us have the summary part of the chapter. Gautam Buddha was born to a North Indian royal family as a prince and was named Siddharth Gautam. When he was 12 years old, he was sent to a faraway place to study Hindu sacred scriptures. And upon returning four years later, he got married to a princess. Soon they both were blessed with a son. Then they continued to live the royal life for about 10 years. However, one day on his way to hunt, the prince met a sick man, an aged man, a funeral procession and a monk who was begging for. Such experiences acted as an eye-opener for him. Hence, he left all the royalty behind to seek a higher sense of his spiritual knowledge. Then, when he attained salvation, when he attained the spiritual knowledge, he began preaching. His first sermon was given in the city of Banaras. When we go further in the chapter, we find that there was a lady whose name was Kisagutmi, whose son had died. So the lady was suffering from unending pain. She went from house to house looking for medicine to make her son alive. But she had been failed. Now let us see what happened next. As the lady was going from house to house for the medicine to get her son's life back, so people thought that she had lost her sense. One day, she met a man who directed her towards Lord Buddha, who could possibly have a solution for her problem. Buddha asked her to look for mustard seeds. Students, there was a condition that seeds must be procured from a house that had seen no death. Okay, This was the condition. With hope, Kisa Gotmi once again went on a search for house to house, but to her dismay, she could not find mustard seeds from a house, from such a house that would fulfill Buddha's condition. Disheartened, she sat at the edge of the road, thus realizing how selfish she had been. She became conscious to the fact that men were mortal and no one could escape the cycle of life. And this was exactly what Lord Buddha wanted her to teach. This was exactly what Lord Buddha wanted her to understand. 
students what more lord buddha wants to tell us according to lord buddha feelings of grief only increases man's pain and suffering and hence one must not grieve at something that is bound to happen and only then one can be happy and blessed so this has been the short summary of this chapter do read this chapter once more to get it more so thank you so much for being with me take care and goodbye